One of the my of my favorite modern heavy metal bands uh, is uh, a band from United States of America from Denver of Colorado, and I'm speaking about Chemis. Chemis, Chemis, how to prefer it well. They took the name from an ancient Egypt uh, city uh, by the name Akhimim, something like that. Uh, they started as a band in 2012, and this band, uh, they play something between doom metal with some sludge uh, um, uh, elements in their sound and in the vocals uh, with heavy metal. And with some also epic metal elements from here and there, some people will say that in the, in the beginning they had they had some death and black metal elements, but they were even uh, less. In any case, uh, chemists they are so good in the way that they play, and sometimes when we speak about modern metal, modern metal is not only uh, the the new styles of metal that we listen today. Uh, for me, for example, modern, modern metal is not only, of course, metalcore or deathcore or new or new metal. Okay, this is also not so new to, uh, in our days. But for me, modern metal is also bands, uh, old school style bands that they play old school metal, but they are bands from our days, from today. And Chemis, they are one of these great bands. The band is uh, a little bit uh, a new band, uh, and they and until to, until now they made uh, four uh, studio-length albums and three EPs. Uh, for example, they started uh, uh, with their first EP in 2013. Afterwards, they have uh, also two other EPs in 2020. Uh, the, the one by the name More Songs About Death, Volume 1, and the second, Doomed Heavy Metal. Here, this is the this is one of this of these of these EPs of them, Doomed Heavy Metal. Uh, here, they made also a, a very good um, cover of Rainbow in the Dark of Dio. Uh, Okay, and also uh, they made a split with another great band, something that they play also between something between doom and heavy metal, also from the United States, Spirit Adrift, and they made with them a split by the name Fraud with Purim. Uh, they started in 2012, as I said before, uh, with four members, and today only in their fourth album they have only they had all, they have only three members because uh, Dan Bayers, their bassist, uh, left the band in 2020. So today we have Ben uh, Hutchinson, uh, the guitarist, that also he makes the uh, the brutal uh, sludge uh, vocals, the harsh vocals. We have Zach Coleman, the drummer, and Phil uh, Pendercast. The, the, uh, the other guitarist that he also he, he makes uh, and, he, and he sings the, uh, the clean vocals. He, uh, in other words, he is uh, uh, the, 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 main, the main vocalist of the band. Uh, also, their, most of their works, uh, the artwork uh, comes from Sam Lee Turner. Uh, a great uh, designer, I think that he's also a metalist, also from Denver of Colorado, and his works are great, 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 great. So uh, let's start. Here I will I will try to make a worst to best uh, to rank their albums from worst to best, and in reality they they they, they didn't they, they they don't have a, a really worst album or a bad album. But let's say, okay, so in the fourth place for me will come their fourth last album by the name Deceiver, came out in 2021. This, this album is good also, some people didn't like it so much. It's good, but it's a little bit more melodic. 
a little bit more melodic and in some places a little bit more progressive but also a good album also the artwork great artwork and this is the first album uh, for them with nuclear blast in the third place their third album of 2018 by the name Desolation also a great album of them uh, in this album continued a little bit the way that they started with their second album uh, Haunted in the second pl place I will put their second album of 2016 by the name Haunted now I know that many 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 people when they speak about chemists they prefer this album as their masterpiece and maybe some people will put this play this album in the first place uh, but I prefer to put it in the second place because from this album and afterwards they became a little bit more melodic and uh, the clean vocals became even more um, uh, dominant in their music and this is not bad of course uh, but in any case this is a very good album but in any case in the first place for me will come their debut first album of 2015 by the name Absolution Absolution and this album is so great it's so good with sludge vocals also and also clean vocals and here this is for me a so good uh, album that um, is, is exactly in the middle between doom sluts and heavy epic heavy metal from the other side okay they are not exactly so epic metal but they have also in this album especially even more uh, epic metal elements uh, this is about chemis this great band from uh, United States of America a new band okay uh, from Israel, from Jerusalem, stay metal and stay heavy.